Today is the 2nd of February, 2015, and been working pretty hard on snow removal. This is the worst year I've seen for a storm in all the years I've been around. The wind was blowing so bad, we had drifts in this yard that you would not believe. The snow blow just driving up at you three or four times. I had to do it after I was done plowing. Been plowing three o'clock yesterday morning, which was Sunday, and I plowed. We came back, and then we had to go back out at three in the afternoon. We plowed until eight. We got done with that. Was turned. It was actually uh, told to come in the next day, which was this morning at three o'clock again. Now I have to go back again at four in the morning. Come along today. Just so you guys know, this driver is all plugged up. As the day went by all day long, so you couldn't keep up. You had to keep snow blowing. Well, I couldn't snow blow it unless I was home from work. A certain time I got home from work, I had to stop the car and then drive out there in the road. And then I have to sit there and I had to work my butt off a lot harder than I did at the regular job. Because now I gotta sit there and get snow on my face while I'm blowing snow, freezing with a blast in my face and you couldn't even get away from it. No matter which direction you went, you had snow flying in your face because the wind was swirling everywhere. So like I said, it's the worst I've ever experienced. And I hope we don't get any more like that. I like the snows where it's like three inches at a time. It's slow. You go to work, you plow, you come home. Well, the next morning, maybe it's not every time. That's what I like. This one is ridiculous. Show the camera over here. This is kind of look like. There's our sidewalk over there. And you can see where the snow blower went. First time I plowed, or, or actually snow blowed it, it was a different type of snow and it wouldn't even go through the snow blower. And then the second time I plowed, or did it, it darn near hit the neighbor's house almost. That's how far it flew, so. There's a big difference in the snow quality. So when it don't come out of snow blower, it takes forever to get the job done. So I didn't do too much show. We got the car stuck when I came in the driveway. That's why I had to hurry up and blow it out. And uh, it was a mess. So basically that's all I got to say. Right now the sky looks good supposed to get another two inches tomorrow I heard. Did you hear anything about it? No. 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 That'd be the, what's tomorrow? Third? What? Yep. That's the third tomorrow and get another two inches. Almost got about 90 hours ready on the books for comp time. So I thought we weren't gonna get in the snow we got scared. Finally got it, and it's all at once. So that's a wrap for right now. Got the pipe over here. I got the mission. The snow sitting on top and broke broke the plastic off. And then the thing fell inside the underneath the trailer, so I had to reach my arm in there and pull it back out. So now I gotta fix that. And the garage door, of course, freezes up. You know, so you got to be careful when you open that. Push the button and then the thing jerks like it's going to break all the springs off. Okay, now you've seen my video on me squawking about the snow. 
Now it's time for us to do an edit on PowerDirector 14 to show you how this was done. The first thing that I'd like to show you is over here in this box, you'll see that I have everything laid out, what I need, and I can show you some of the ways of getting it. Now some of you might have a different way of storing all your information, such as your videos, your special effects that you might have created on your own, uh, music from YouTube if you need copyrighted material that's free, that you don't have any problems with copyrights. So anyways, I can show you some of the places that I've got this. So what I'll do is I'll go to the files. This is showing you how to get to it. And everything is going to have to be imported. So here we're going to go to the media files. And I choose, I go to computer. And you see I have my C drive, which is my primary drive. That would be the uh, solid state drive, which you see there's not very many... Uh, there's not much space on there. There's only 500 gigabytes. So that has all the programming on it. This drive here is just a regular spinner drive, which is a Seagate. That's got two terabytes. That keeps all my uh, special effects, sound effects, music, uh, motion, graphics, all that stuff that you might be using on your video. As you can see down here, I've got secondary another or a third drive that I'm starting because this is already three quarters full when it gets about three quarters full you want to stop because it's your performance starts to drop so I know that you say well you got a two terabyte you're wasting all that space well that's the way they design the stuff and it seems that it's true that your performance will start dropping down after you get about three quarters full so I keep it right about there and now I start my, my second drive. So anyways, we're going to go to the E drive and then what I have here is all the different things. I go right down to the bottom. It's real easy. I go to my videos. And I've got everything kind of labeled here, what's all in there. And this here one was called the, uh, we called it the bad snow of 2015. So that was that part. And then uh, it basically all you're doing is you're going in here and finding all the stuff that's on this screen in your secondary drive. So there's no sense really going through that right now. I could go on forever here. So I'll just cancel this. We have everything in here we need. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, take, this is our first clip, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that down and put that right there as it snaps in. And then I'm going to go over here to the end and I'm going to put the, the last clip in. It's only two clips on this. And then I'll go back to right here. As you see over here, this has all been done already. So I just want to go through and, and show you how I arrived at, at this first part. Okay, I, what I did here is I marked my spot for doing, uh, I'm going to go to the plugins. Let me show you in a minute here. It's called Theme Designer. And uh, Theme Designer, I've chosen to go with uh, now some of you don't know what the team designer is it's kind of a cool program it, it showed you the intro and that's what we're trying to do is we're gonna we're gonna start a to create a intro on this so this is what you get here so instead of check if you check this box it's going to select every single one of these so what i'm going to show you right now i'm not going to probably end up with the exact same thing that you've seen in the main video but I'm going to give you an idea how to do some of the stuff so it's not so, you know, you can figure, you can watch this and you can figure it out. So, as you notice, this one here is your opening. You know, that would give you, uh, if you choose this, you'll see in a minute here, I'll, I'll choose another one. Now, that's got two clips that you can use, or pictures. And uh, I'll choose one that's got another five. 
and I'm going to hit OK. And uh, it says here on my title, and uh, we'll call this Weird Snow. And then in the second lane, we'll call this uh, February 2nd. And then 2015. All right, now the bad thing about this here is that you have to keep these short because sometimes when you type these in, some of this won't show up. So you got to keep stuff sh real short and we'll see if this works out okay so I'm going to hit OK on this one well not yet I'm not going to hit OK yet what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy here and now you got a choice now this is all video we're working with but you have a choice to take a snapshot of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and you can scroll and take a snapshot of any position you want. Like, I got my eyes closed. I'll take one. I'll, I'll do that one right there. This little camera here, you just click on that, and now that one's done. Okay? Now we're going to do a video part on that. And you want to mute the sound, because we don't want any sound on this. And then you want to trim the video clip to fit. All right, now you're going to choose what part of the video you want to use with these sliders. And I'm, I'm going to do the one where I'm walking over to the garage and showing how high the snow was. And then hit OK. All right, now we've got those two done. We've got our title, text one, text two, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure there's no music playing, all right? And you'll see why in a minute, because we're going to add our own music later. Right, so now we're going to go to two, and we have, we have enough room here to do five more pictures, just to give you a little bit of a something uh, you'll, you'll see in a minute here we're going to do the video on here and do some freeze frames it's me me talking again i mean this is just an ex example it's not a, a real big deal here but i'm just going to show you some things here get something here oh, it's, this part is where I'm complaining about the uh, the stack that's coming out of my my dryer, which the snow was so deep it broke the <laughs> broke the lid off. So I'll take a snapshot of that one, and then I'll put another one in here, and we'll scroll this thing over and get something different. We'll show a little bit of the bank there. Do that one. Uh, next one is uh, the video part. Let's go. Well, we got two more to go here. Do the video. Again, you got to mute it. And then trim the video clip. All right, now I'm going to go back to. Let's see what I can do. I'll do where it's coming out there. Where I'm in the middle of the driveway. That's how high the snow was, by the way. I mean, it was, it was pretty nasty. Now you have to go until it stops. Otherwise, it won't work. The slider will actually stop. You can't stop that anywhere you want. You have to, you have to choose the left or the right. You have to where you want it. You can only get so much video on this. This is just, we're just making an intro right now. And so it's okay on that one. You know, get another picture to throw in here. 
like I said, this is going to be exactly the same as the uh, original video that you watched before this. Now I'll show the end of the driveway here. Okay, so now we don't. I probably should have put an ending on here, but uh, it's okay. This this will work here. All right. Okay, now everything stayed right, right at this marker where I had it. So now I'm going to give you a little idea what it looks like now. This is what we put in. I'll play a little bit of it. I'm not going to go too deep into it. This is Weird Snow, February 2nd, 2015. Or was it supposed to be 2000? 2000, 2015, yeah, right. Okay, so that, that's kind of what your intro looks like. Now there's no sound or no music in there. Okay, now what we're going to do here, the next step, is where this is the intro coming in, and then here's the actual video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this clip. And this brings you to a page where you can... There's a lot of stuff to learn on here, but I'm only going to do the simple stuff right now. I'm going to fade this, and this is going to uh, believe fade out. So save it. No, I'm sorry. I got to undo that one. It was supposed to be fade in. So we will. Double click it again. So we'll fade it in. Save it. Okay, now you see the, the green dots right here? Okay, that shows you that it faded. So now when it comes out of the intro, what it's going to do is it's going to get dark and come in. Okay, follow me so far. All right, now the next thing that we want to do is we're going to find the spot on here where, let's see. I'm going to show you where the snow started. I'll mark my spot. Okay, right there is where I got my hand. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to make this blue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split it. All right. Now we got it split. And we're going to take the playhead and we're going to scroll it over. I'm going to walk back. I'm showing how deep the snow is. Oops, sorry about that. And then I start talking. All right, now we're going to split it again right there. Okay, so then now what we got to do is we got to go to our, our uh, picture in picture, the PIPs, and we're going to find what I used before. which I believe is in the Christmas section. See this you can't save in your uh, collection box. You got to come in and find this. Yeah, I believe it was up there somewhere here. Down at the bottom. It gives you an idea. You get a lot of these, and uh, it's hard to find some of the stuff you're after. I can't remember which one I used before, but we'll just find a different one here. It doesn't really matter. It's, you get a get an idea anyway. 
We'll just use this one for right now. Well, this is too Christmassy, I think. Let's see. Yeah, let's use this one. No, wait. I don't like that one either. Go back up to the top. I'm having trouble finding it here. <laughs> well, let's use this one, all right. All right, we'll just drag it down here. Snaps right in. And then you drag it all the way over to here. All right. Now, this is your special effects. And I'm going to show you how to size this up. You got your bar all the way to the top, so you got room to work. You double click this clip right here. All right. But now, these are called handlebars. Okay, and you got to get the arrow to show. Okay, now what we're going to do is we want to get this to be sized up with the black box. So there's no black showing. You see, you can see the black there. And we also want to get it over far far enough because I'm showing the height of the snow. So that should be good. Now I'm going to hit save. And now when we go from the normal plane, I'm not going to play too much here. I'm just going to play a little sample here. Play this. Okay, see how it came in? do is it'll come in to be regular again see so there's your special effect that's how that's done now there's a whole bunch of these and I got so many of them because you can download these off of the cyberlink uh, power director site and you can download this thousands of them if you want that's the nice thing about uh, power director is that they don't force a lot of stuff on you. It's up to you to download them if you want to use them or not. And once you download them, they go right into your computer and they stay there. And uh, you can delete them too if you don't want to use them anymore. To, you know, so you don't want to have so much garbage laying around that you don't ever use. Like uh, you're not going to use like 2012 anymore, probably. You know, so. But this is actually uh, just an example here of what I'm showing you. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on, I believe it was, oh yeah, the titles. Okay, I'll put this here, right at the end here. And then that there automatically. I'll just scroll over and you can see what, as soon as it hits there, it goes to the end, see. And then what you want to do here is also fade the end of this clip so it looks more professional. So double click it, fade, and you can fade the end, so it'd be fade out. You save that. And it should be aligned. See, so there's your dots came up. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our music in. And let's see. We'll go back and see which one that was at the beginning. It's called Bittersweet. 
so we're gonna go up here and we, you gotta open your media room okay here's bittersweet we're gonna drag that down and it'll snap right in and then what we want to do is we want to drag this over didn't work the way I wanted it to. Trim only. The screen's pretty big here. I want to get it right to the edge. Okay, we're going to take it right there. It snaps right in. Trim only. Okay, so that's our intro music. Okay? Now, we want to fade this music, so we're going to the way you fade music is a little differently. Uh, there's a little bar here that goes across that's at a certain amount of decibels. And what you're going to do is you put a marker here. We're going to mark, mark it right there. And then we're going to take the end of it and we're going to tweak it down so it goes to the bottom. So what that does is it fades the song down. You know, so it looks like it, you know, like when it plays, it, it goes from normal volume down to nothing. Okay, then the next one that we need to be, we got to go back to our references here. Black box, all right? Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to get black box. I'm going to slide that one down. And that would be the one for that. Now we're going to go, well, we got to get the other one. Got black box. And then we went to Brazilian disappearance. Okay, you see how there's a whole bunch of nothing there? See, the music pretty much stopped right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Brazilian Disappearance. We're going to take it, we're going to overlap it to here. And then we're going to do a crossfade. And what the crossfade does is it blends the two together. So you're you can uh, put it right to the end, or you can do like I just did and crossfade it. Okay, then we had, I thought, one more. Is there any disappearance? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Okay, and that takes us way off the map right there. But we'll deal with that later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create. Now we're doing this for YouTube, so what I have to do is I have to put in a creation that I made, and uh, this is something I'll have to do another tutorial on. Show you how this is made. You you can do this in Photoshop, and then you can bring it down. Because like I don't know if you guys know, like if you're a YouTuber you uh, can create your own artwork for what to watch next and a subs subscribe button and all that stuff. Well, I made my own template. So I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to lay it right there. And it's not quite long enough. But I'm going to put it a little bit longer there. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, now like I said, this isn't going to be like the original first one I made, but this is give you the idea of the, the basics. So now I'm going to shorten this up to right the end, and I'm going to say trim only. Okay, and there again I'm going to take and I'm going to fade this music out. You know, actually, I'm going to let this go a little bit longer. I'm going to go just a little bit longer on that. 
and then I'm going to take the end and fade that down to the bottom and we'll see what this end looks like I'll stop there now if you see this is you got your thanks for watching you already have watch next and then you'll have subscriber right here and uh, it's not a, you know not a problem if you want to see anything more about it you can put other stuff in there but this is what I use for right now there, there's different ways of doing it but this is basically a quick t tutorial on on uh, how I did this simple little movie here. It's not exactly the same, but it'll give you a general idea, you know, on the different things like like they've got multi-cam designer, theme designer, they got express project, screen recorder. So you, you get that with 14. It comes all with it. And another thing that I didn't go through with you on here too, you all, they also have, if you click on a song here, they also have a spot where you can go to edit your audio and they got a wave editor now here wave editor pops up and it loads that song in there and there's a lot of different things you can do you can do volume boost you can do volume you know you can do a fade uh, you, know, you can do do all that stuff uh, distortion adjustments equalizer generate reverb you know for goofy sounds and then there's a special for noise reduction but this is a free program so don't get too excited about it because I, I'm finding that it doesn't really work out that, that well it's it's okay gets you by but uh, you probably want to get the sound this the one that's made for this the sound editor I believe it's called there you know Cyberlink offers a lot of different programs. You know, they got DVD uh, program. You know, I didn't buy any of that stuff. I just got the PowerDirector 14, and I I just get by with this stuff. You know, the Wave Editor works out okay for me. Sometimes it gives me a little problems, but I don't get too concerned about it. But if I do, I just keep playing with it till I get it the way I want it. And then this pops up, which I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to close out of it. All right, and I'll just close out of this. And I'm going to say no to that because we're not doing anything. This came back over there. I'm working on a multi, you know, two screens so I can get rid of that thing there. So, anyways, uh, I hope this gave you an idea on a simple special effect. I didn't want to get too deep in, but some people don't know how to how to do the uh, the intro like I do. There's some people have been asking how I've been doing it, and uh, basically all you do is you go to the plugins and go to Theme Designer, and then Theme Designer you just pick out whatever theme you want. You know, like I can go to Theme Designer now again, and I'll just give you a quick look at what some of them look like. You know, you got Facebook. These are what they look like. And if you click this box here, you, that means you're going to use every single one of these. Now you can also mix and match these too. You can take like, the, you know, put a check mark in here. And then you can go over here. So you, that'll be your first one you choose. Then you can go back and then you can go and maybe get a film strip. And then maybe check this one. All right, and then the next one, maybe you can go over and you can get the wallet of media. And you can check that one. Okay, then when you hit OK, see how you got all the three different ones? All right, that's how you, how you achieve getting the different effects that you are after. So you do, you're just going to have to play around with it and find out what you like the best and then do what I did. But remember now, they're, they have it so that you can put photos in there and they got videos. All right. 
don't get real concerned about the 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 uh, pictures unless you want to do your pictures. You know, if you're going to do a slideshow or something with your pictures, go ahead and use your pictures by all means. But if you're shooting a video and you don't have any pictures, you're going to need pictures to do the theme designer. So what this allows you to do is freeze frame the spot you want, take a snapshot, and it'll put it in there. So it, it looks beautiful when it's all done. In fact, I actually don't even use, you know, I got a Canon uh, G30, and it's a video camera. It's not a, it's not a SLR, D, DSLR, you know, digital. Uh, it's it's not that. It's just a, vid a regular video camera. It's a, more of the higher end ones, the the uh, beginning level of being pro. And uh, you can uh, take pictures with it, or you can take uh, video. I don't even use the, the picture mode because I can take and steal a frame right out of that with no problem. I just uh, scroll over where I want want the picture and I take a snapshot, save it, save it out. And uh, I don't have Photoshop on this computer. I just take it and then I save it on a, on a uh, memory stick, take it over my uh, Apple computer, put it through Photoshop and I print it. That's how I do it, you know, so. It's kind of a nice program. I mean, and also the camera is really nice too. But the program allows you to do that. And I think it's pretty awesome. So we're going to just cancel out of this and we're going to close out of this this whole uh, video tutorial. And uh, I hope you guys liked what you've seen. Uh, I tried to explain the best I could. This is one of my first ones I did with uh, explaining Power Director. I might do a few more. I'm just getting my feet wet now, just uh, seeing how this works. Uh, hope you guys bear with me. I do have a channel that's mostly concerns about places to visit in Wisconsin. I travel all over Wisconsin and I'm putting together a channel that uh, shows people places to visit. Because I found that I really don't care to do a lot of talking on videos and uh, so if you look at my channel or you subscribe, you'll be able to see a lot of the stuff right I uh, visited in Wisconsin. There's a lot of racing videos. There's uh, waterfalls, uh, Old Road, Wisconsin. There's uh, it's just a few of them. I mean, subscribe to my channel and you'd be amazed. There's 130-some uh, videos I got out there. And uh, take a check, see what you think of it. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe, but uh, I appreciate if you give it a ch give it a chance. So this is the end of uh, this tutorial, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.